Yeah, g'day, Charlie Z02, Charlie Tango Mike here. Hey, um, this is just a very quick video, or intro I should say, to say that the audio of this video is quite hard to hear because this hut is located right next to a river, which is very, very noisy. But just bear with it, and if you listen hard, you'll be able to hear what's going on. Anyway, hopefully this will um, provide some insight into uh, this little radio. Cheers, and we'll see you soon. G'day, Z02, Charlie Tango Mike. Well, here we are... Uh, out on the tramp, so this is a um, typical sort of, well it's a relatively new New Zealand bush hut here you can't quite see there but on the corner of that veranda I've got a half wave dipole set up so just looking around here, so we're way out in what's called the Tower of Mountains here so hopefully tonight we'll, um, we'll have a go with the with the uh, 40 metre radio, so over there on the bench is the radio all set up and ready to go so uh, we'll see what we can do so we'll just set up there, up there, halfway dipole which disappears off either side of the, the hut here. Just listening to some European contacts here on 7.105 megs. Well, I'm picking up several stations here, getting uh, the US, uh, getting Italy, Germany uh, and certainly lots of Australians coming through. Um, unfortunately haven't been able to get through but that's not surprising sort of transmitting on 5 watts here but um, hopefully I'll be able to get through to at least Australia and uh, have a quick QSO there just to uh, see things are going but certainly on the receive side it's it's uh, it's working very well and yeah this is DF2 uh, Brava Oscar so uh, he's coming through very clear yeah, we'll keep trying and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a uh, contact soon. Oh well, had a very good night out here but unfortunately um, while I heard a lot of Europeans coming through and North Americans I, um, and certainly a lot of VKs, I uh, just couldn't make a contact um, transmitting 5 watts. And apparently the, uh, the Europeans were saying that the, the band conditions were terrible at their end so unfortunately I didn't get out. But never mind, had a lot of fun out here in the bush and um, we'll definitely have to give that a go some other time but uh, I'll sign off here a little bit disappointing but uh, certainly most enjoyable at the same time so I'll say 73s and uh, we'll see you next time okay so it's uh, morning here out in the New Zealand bush the sun's just starting to come up so uh, yeah not a bad night so what did I learn from last night's exercise of the little radio well, I think first things first, now that it's been moved to 40 metres, it's certainly not as good as it was at home on 80 metres. Um, that's probably, no doubt, I think, a function of the uh, the antenna amplifier there, which needs to be sort of from the ground up redesigned for that frequency there. Um, I think here in New Zealand locations, especially with these little bush huts, that a 40 meter antenna or a half wave dipole that frequency or that band I should say is, is quite large and I think I wouldn't mind redesigning this if I am going to take it back into the bush pretty from the ground up to be on, on 20 meters. Um, there is one other person I know who has been playing around with this radio um, on the bench and it came out last night on 80 meters when the radio had very good strong audio going into it it masked out what is a small amount of DSP hum uh, you really can't hear it at all when I was using this on 80 meters but now that it's on 40 I can just just hear it no more coming through on the uh, on the audio uh, and what I'm also hearing uh, on this band is when I tune is a small amount of I2C what appears to be um, some communications going on. I can just like well, I can hear that as I as I switch through the the, the frequency flick, 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 coming through on the audio. Um, I don't hear that at all down on 80 meters. Uh, so that's that's interesting in itself. Um, last night I heard people from all over the world, really, um, well certainly from uh, Europe and, and North America uh, and Australia. No New Zealanders calling CQ, and uh, no one answered mine. Uh, I did hear strong New Zealanders answering the Europeans, but because the Europeans had initiated the call, 
I couldn't really jump in on top of, off top of that onto the New Zealand Ruskin for a, a radio check. So that in itself is a bit disappointing, but not unusual, I guess, when you're transmitting uh, QRP. That uh, you know, it's uh, it's just not like the same with uh, with higher power. So I think at this stage of the game, I'll probably I'm just debating I'm going to pursue this as a, a tramping radio. Um, I've got another idea for a tramping radio which I'll produce a video on which is going to use a couple of um, 612s in a, in a very small Kenwood um, uh, crystal filter which I think would be better, well not better, I haven't used a 612s before so uh, I think I'll, I'll use that and I'll design that specifically for, for uh, 20 metres which will produce an antenna which is um, a better size here for and these sort of New Zealand tramping huts. So I think all in all it was, it was certainly useful and it was a fun exercise to do and I think what I will probably do now is pull this apart, uh, turn it back into a base rig and then have a look, a good long look at the DSP filters uh, within the Tensi, um, probably look at redesigning the audio amp and, uh, and we'll go from there and we'll see what we can do. But all in all a fun exercise and uh, once again uh, very very nice to get back into the New Zealand bush playing around with amateur radio. Our season here has just started so um, we'll be coming to the bush uh, reasonably frequently during the summer and hopefully I'll have yet another radio to bring into the bush for the next one. Anyway 73's everyone and uh, we'll keep you posted um, as we pull this apart and have tinker around in due course. Cheers 73's.